so we must specify which front panel or block diagram object to apply a shortcut menu plugin to in the type definition of the plugin the CTL file we specify the refnum type of the object this one and this one a single right click on an object may generate references to more than one refnum type we can use the look up all shortcut menu tags and types plugin to help us identify the affected refnum types when we right click an object and select the look up all shortcut menu tags and types plugin lab view displays a list of refnum types affected by the right click we can use the refnum types to specify the object our plugin effects these refnums the lookup all shortcut menu tags and types plugin also lists the menu item tags for every shortcut menu item we can use the menu item tags to customize where to display our plugin item in the shortcut menu to use the look up all shortcut menu tags and items plugin let's go to the program files then national instruments then the lab view version we are using then resource then plugins then the pop-up menus then support and inside that we would find look up all menu tags and types library let's copy it and then let's head down over to one level back to pop up menus and inside that we will find a folder called edit time panel and diagram let's paste the library over here I had already done that so it's asking me for replacing and now when we relaunch we have to relaunch the lab view then by right clicking that menu item would be available and you can then use it and conversely to remove the look up all shortcut menu tags and items plugins from the shortcut menu let's go to the program files national instruments lab view version you are using resource plugins pop-up menus edit time panel and diagram and then we delete this library look up all shortcut menu tags and types library 
then it will and after restarting LabVIEW uh, it will not be uh, available in the shortcut menu.